Hey guys, Spider Games here. I haven't uploaded in about 10 months, and I just want to say, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to show you how to get 15 to 20 legendary enemies to spawn in for you every hour. This farming method is totally broken. I hope it stays around forever. Ooh, that's a max level uh, bloody fire rate handmade. Hell yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this farming method. It is awesome and my sound's broken. Anyways, let's go ahead and farm this Robobrain Horde located in Watoga. Unfortunately, Robobrains will not follow me. They just like to keep their distance and shoot at me. It's retarded. Anyways, we are going to hit the boss and then kill off the Horde itself. Now these guys are low level, after you kill them, we're going to have four high level enemies spawning in and hopefully one of them will be legendary or maybe even two of them. But as you can see, I've already had two legendary spawn in, but I get killed right here and I have that glitch where you spawn at Vault 76 happen to me and I had it coming. I'm using unyielding gear, I should have seen this coming, I deserve it, I deserve cancer. <laughs> That shouldn't happen again. So we have our third legendary here now. Normally we don't want the horde to go. Okay, that shouldn't happen again now for reals. So we're on our fourth legendary, by the way. We don't normally want to let the boss uh, wander away from the original spawn. Like I wanted to stay around with Togo, that way I get more legendary spawning. Uh, the reason for that is because if you let the boss wander, um, the horde may stop spawning legendaries altogether. You want to keep it in a spot where you know legendaries spawn. That's just a theory of mine anyways. I'll talk about that more when I show you the Goldberg horde. Now, the Rubble Brain boss actually teleported away from me and the horde. It left the horde in the dust. So, what I would normally do is fetch the boss and bring it back to the horde. I didn't feel like dealing with that because the robo brain, like I said, will not follow me. But I tracked down the horde, just to show you that I knew where it was and that it was still there. It's time to farm some gulpers. The first thing you need to know is saying gulper horde is really hard. Give it a try. Just, uh, what the hell is this? This freaking game, dude. I can't kill them while they're flying around. Okay, they landed, thank god. Let's kill them before they take off again. Gulpers have a max level of 46, which is no good if you're going for, you know, weapons or armor that have a max level of 50. You're only gonna get a level 40 uh, minigun off of these level 46 dudes, so um, handmaids, however, do have a max level 45, so you'll get some good stuff, but mostly these guys are good for getting scrip. And gulper hordes have a really high spawn rate for legendaries. It is amazing. As long as you're in the right spot on the map, I will show you um, a few spots I know of on the map uh, where you're gonna want to take hordes or just uh, where you want to keep them anyways um, as well as regions um, but you need to kill enemies that are threatening the horde boss you do not want that boss to die as soon as he's dead the horde is over and your farm is over with it but uh, I think we are on number either three and four or four and five uh, I'm not sure it's only been ten minutes though and as you can see this horde is amazing. You get so many legendaries. But later on, I'm going to show you a map and show you what regions you want to stick with when it comes to these hordes. Now, unfortunately, the boss moved around too much and no more legendaries spawned. That's why you do not want the boss to move around. God damn it. This fucking game. Jesus. There are six regions that make up the whole map in Fallout 76. Only three of these regions are good for farming hordes. The other three are not. The good ones are Savage Divide, The Mire, and Cranberry Bog. 
the rest are dog shit. When you have a horde, there are places on the map that you can take it and it will start spawning tons of legendaries for you. In the Savage Divide, first we got Garaham Mining Headquarters, next we got 98 Nar Regional, South Cutthroat Camp, North Cutthroat Camp, and you can head up north all the way up that freeway there. Next in Cranberry Bog, you got Watoga, I showed you that. And you can head up the highway there all the way north until you get to that area where the super mutants are. In the mire, we've got Berkeley Springs Station and we've got Dire Chemical, which is where I'm at right now. This is a really good spot to hang out because as you can see, I'm having legendary after legendary come out. And this is in the span of like 10 minutes. Um, I'm just keeping the legendary boss here. That way they just keep spawning. But two more three stars come out and unfortunately right after this I screw up majorly. But yeah, Dire Chemical and the other spots I showed you. All you gotta do is hang out there. Um, you'll find the sweet spot and it'll be real easy to farm and you'll notice lots and lots of legendaries come out. But uh, this is the last legendary here, and my alternate character, Randy Leahy, respawned all the robots, unfortunately, and the stupid boss ran off to go take them all on by himself. Got himself killed, of course. Don't do it, there's no need, he's not even legendary, why do it? You can get plenty of legendaries off of him instead. I'm hoping to spread awareness with this video, but I don't know if you noticed, that boss isn't even legendary, and it's still spawning in legendaries. So FYI, I didn't know that before I did this, but the boss once again was killed by another player. Did some- You fucking idiot! I was getting so many three stars tacky, you fucking noob! You fucking suck tacky! You suck dicks! <laughs> the last horde. I want to cover is the fog crawler horde this is my favorite one by far because not only does it spawn legendaries as frequently as say feral ghoul horde or the gulper horde but it drops weapons and crafting materials so basically you're getting two birds stoned at once fuck and I can't spawn back here. That's it guys. In future videos, I'm gonna be, you know, looking at all the hordes. I'm gonna rank them from worst to best. Also, I'm gonna be comparing God weapons. I have a bloodied faster fire rate gauze minigun. I'm gonna be comparing with my anti-armor explosive uh, Gatlin plasma. Um, I'm also gonna be comparing uh, all the rifles, all the god guns, melee weapons, all of them. It's going to be my version of making, you know, spotlight videos, except they're not going to be spotlight videos. They're just going to be, you know, comparing weapons videos, just like I used to make back in the Fallout 4 days when that first came out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a series I started four years ago. I only made a couple of videos on it. But yeah, leave a like subscribe for my future videos i'm also going to be making an opening video i almost have a hundred legendary modules which is pretty insane i started saving them up because i had the idea to make an opening um luckily i foresaw that and i put the work in uh, i'm also uh, there's other stuff i can't think of it i'm fried i've been up all night editing this video trying to make it perfect um, one thing I want to do for all my future videos is make really good tutorial videos. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys new secrets that I found. Um, it has mostly to do with random encounters, but that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Look at this sneaky motherfucker. I guess it's a new boss or something. He's blind as shit. It is daylight out. Yeah, I can be right up in his shit and he won't see me. That's funny. Wow.
<laughs> Idiot. Oh, shit. 